Dear colleagues, I am Hans-Christoph Diener from the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Duisburg-Essen in Germany. And in this month's video, I would like to give you an update uh, what has been reported during the International Headache Congress in Seoul in September. Let me start with the treatment of acute migraine attacks. Until recently, we had analgesics, uh, we had non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, we had ergots and tryptans. And there are new developments, and these are small molecules which are antagonists at the CGRP receptor. And at the moment, we have three of them, Rimechipan 75 milligrams, Ubrochipan 50 or 100 milligram, and Savechipan as a nasal spray with 10 milligram. These are all effective, superior to placebo. The two-hour pain-free rate is somewhere between 25 to 30 percent. They have very few side effects, a little bit of nausea, somnolence, nasopharyngitis, and for Savechipan, the nasal spray taste disturbance. In indirect comparisons, they are about, the so-called G-pans are about as effective as ibuprofen and aspirin, and they seem to be less effective than sumatriptan 100 milligram. Unfortunately, until now, we have no data, uh, no direct comparison with triptans, and we have no data whether they are effective in people where triptans do not work. The major shortcoming is the cost in the United States. The cost per tablet of nasal spray is somewhere between $80 and $200. And this means we definitely need more studies for these cheap pads. Now let me move to the prophylaxis of migraine with drugs. Previously, and still, we have all medications like beta blockers, fluoracin, topiramate, valproic acid, amitriptyline, and candesartan, and for chronic migraine, onabotulinum toxin A. And we have now five year experience with the monoclonal antibodies against CGRP or the CGRP receptor like eptinezumab, erenumab, fremanezumab, and galzanezumab. These are all equally effective. They reduce uh, migraine days between three and seven per month. They are effective both in episodic and chronic migraine. And most importantly, they are effective in people with medication overuse headaches. The 50% responder rates are somewhere between 40 and 60%, and there are now significant differences between the four monoclonal antibodies. The major advantage is a very good tolerability profile, and very few patients terminate treatment because of adverse events. There have been no, with one exception, no direct comparison of the monoclonal antibodies with traditional migraine preventive drugs or onabotulinum toxin A, and the only Exception is a trial which compared to pyramid and erinumab, and erinumab was definitely more effective and better tolerated. At the moment, the recommendation is to use these monoclonal antibodies for 12 months in episodic migraine and 24 months in chronic migraine, and then pause. And then it usually turns out that between 50 and 70 percent of these patients need to continue the treatment. And if they are not working, there is a possibility to switch between the monoclonal antibodies and the success rate after this is somewhere between 15 and 30 percent. Now, G-pans were also developed for the prevention of migraine. And here we have Rimechipan 75 milligrams every other day or Atrachipan 60 milligrams daily. They are effective, but in indirect comparisons, they are less effective than the monoclonal antibodies. And at present, we have no comparative trials with monoclonal antibodies, also traditional migraine preventive drugs. Potential patients would be patients who have needle phobia or patients who do not respond to monoclonal antibodies. Again, the biggest shortcoming are costs in the United States. The cost per year for migraine prevention or prophylaxis is between $12,000 and $20,000. But finally, we also had very exciting news. And there is a new therapeutic approach via PACAP. PACAP is pituitary adenylate cyclase activating polypeptide and has similar biological actions like CGRP, but additional actions. And it could very well be that people who do not respond to a monoclonal antibody would respond to a monoclonal antibody against PACAP. And at the Congress, the first randomized placebo-controlled trial 
with a monoclonal antibody against PACA was presented, and this monoclonal antibody was definitely effective in a population of people who failed prior preventive therapy. A phase three study is planned, and most probably PACAP could work in people who do not respond to monoclonal antibodies against CRP. So, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, we have now many choices for the acute treatment of migraine and migraine prophylaxis. We have new kids on the block, and we have to learn more how to use these drugs, what are the benefits, what are the shortcomings. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hans Christoph Diener from the Department of Neuroepidemiology at the University of Duisburg Essen, and I would like to thank you for listening and watching.